Hi, I'm Gil, and this is a review of three of Wild Zora's seven Paleo Meals to Go. This video is a year in the making. I picked up the Wild Zora meal packets June of last year, and by the time I opened the last one, it was expired. I still ate it, and it didn't get me sick, and I don't think it affected the flavor. I first tried the breakfast meal, Butte Cacao Banana, on a bicycle tour from San Francisco to San Luis Obispo with my brother Sasha and our friend Evan. On its own, this packet has a whopping 430 calories, and I added a peach for good measure. What a great peach you put in there. Did you get this stuff at the bottom too? Oh no. Mmm, that's great. I don't want, don't mm. pretend. Mm, yummy. <laughs> Was that just peach again? <laughs> okay, I don't think he likes it. <laughs> that's like. <laughs> the peach is good. I need you to get off the phone and try this food before my battery runs out. Mm. That's pretty good. That was a big one. Look, he's got a look of joy on his face. I like it. But one last bite. Love. <laughs> yeah, one last bite left. <laughs> one last bite. Mmm. Mmm. Listen to all those yum sounds he's making. <laughs> you taste that bitterness in the cacao. You like that shit? It's not is bad. A, is this a review by the tough customers? You know, I, I, I can see why everyone doesn't like it. Because it has the consistency of baby food, kind of. Except for the nuts. But it's not. The flavor is pretty good. I think it's just the banana base. I think it was like 10 bucks. <laughs> now that Sasha knows the price, he doesn't like it anymore. That's crazy. Though I carried all three meals with me throughout this trip, we only tried one. Mostly, we ate food that we picked up along the way. A pastrami sandwich, which I shared with the wasp. There he goes. Fresh bread with sardines and mac and cheese with hot dogs. So good. Mm. Mm. I tried the mountain beef stew on a solo weekend bikepacking trip to Henry Co. State Park. The stew has a total of 370 calories, 60 less than the cacao banana. It also weighs slightly less and is lower in fat. Preparation of each of the packets is the same. Shake, remove desiccant, add boiling water, close, let sit for 10 minutes, open, stir, and eat. Hmm. A little bit rubbery, but um, also slightly tender. Hmm. Hmm. Mmm. 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 Surprisingly good. The spice combination is... This looks like shredded up vegetables with some chicken in it. Lastly, I reviewed the Summit Savory Chicken on a bikepacking trip to Henry Co. again, um, this time with my friend Sergio. Mm, that was so good. Yes, yeah, 
Fresh caught fish tacos are certainly a tough act to follow, but the chicken was my least favorite of the three Wild Zora meals. It only has 350 calories, two grams of fat, and that's where I think they went wrong. It's very dry and completely flavorless. We did our best to try to make this one into a decent meal. I heated up fresh tortillas on the gas stove, added cheese, chili pepper. I think it needs salt. It is bland. Right? It is bland. Upon first couple of bites, we real quickly realized, before we ate any more of it, that it needs to be doctored up a little bit. That's better. It's definitely better. <laughs> Dramatically. Mm -hmm. I still wouldn't get it again, though. Would you get it? Not unless you could spice it up just the way you did. By itself, no. Out of the package by itself, no. Will I be trying the other four flavors of Wild Zora's Paleo Meals to go? No. While they're incredibly convenient, they won't replace my all-time favorite, ramen with bacon jerky. What instant meals do you like for bikepacking and backpacking? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.